We'll use any excuse to get up into the Adelaide Hills, but today's trip has an intriguing theme. We're looking at repurposed buildings with a taste twist. First stop is just off the freeway in Verdun, where the old servo and post office has become Walk the Talk, a bustling drop-in spot for all things delicious, from cake and coffee to casual dining to take-home meals for stocking the fridge. Chef Ali Seedsman has worked at some of the country's most notable restaurants, including Bathers Pavilion and McGill Estate. But as the name suggests, Walk the Talk is all about simple, honest food. And I think that's probably part of the attraction for me. It was just nice to have something where I can just relax and go, it's just a cafe. And we're just cooking really good food, but it's, there's no bells and whistles, there's no tricks, there's no smears or soils or foams or dusts or sterification, it's just really simple food. A series of small rooms gives the cafe an intimate feel and the locals treat this a bit like home. Ali reckons there are some things they just won't let her take off the menu, like the laksa. And the take-home lasagna is in high demand. It was so um, inviting. Once you got inside, it's very hard to leave. And if you're after a relaxed night out, book in for Friday dinner when Ali ramps the menu up a notch. So it's a bit more fine dining, um, but it is really still rustic and relaxed. Well, I said this was a post office and it still is, and the locals still come here to pick up all their letters and parcels. Some cupcakes with your correspondence? Now that's a one-stop shop. Now we're talking about repurposing buildings and our next destination is an old church which has been reborn, dare I say it, with a little holy smoke. In the middle of Uradla, lost in a forest, is a wine bar and pizza restaurant that's quickly become another local favourite. From Friday evening through to Sunday night, folks wander by to have a warm drink or a glass of wine or to sample one of co-owner Charlie Lawrence's miracles from the wood oven. For a guy with a background in design and advertising, it's been a distinct career shift and also a transformation for the 130-year-old church, which has been used as a residence for years. It's 15 minutes from the city. It's so close to the city, but you, it feels like you're in the country. It's just one of those places that's quite special. You're so removed from the city life, but also in the country, but have that convenience. And a lot of people would come up from the city for a, a dinner or lunch. It is still kind of a home for Charlie and his partners Nick Filsel and Tara Sakota. More like their living room, where guests are invited to hang out amid the upscaled, foraged fittings and relive musical adventures from the 80s. Or maybe enjoy more private dining up on the mezzanine. The name of the place is Lost in the Forest, so it's from a, a Cure song, an old Cure song from the early 80s. So we're talking, you know, it's The Cure, The Stranglers, uh, Stone Roses, Depeche Mode, New Order. We just play it loud and really enjoy it. Um, we've got an old record player too on display, so we, we spin some records at, late at night. Some evenings it's a, it feels like a 40th, and some evenings it feels like a 21st party going on. It's just a, a fun time. People just really enjoy the space. Um, once they get settled in and enjoying their favourite drop, it's, uh, yeah, people get into it. In charge of the aforementioned drop, basket range winemaker Taris, who has gathered a posse of like-minded vignerons and put together an impressive collection behind the bar. Is this heaven here, to use another church analogy? Uh, well, it is actually hard to leave sometimes, you know. It'd be like, oh, uh, you know, maybe just one more and then <laughs> we'll pop home. But it, but it does have a you know, lovely atmosphere because I suppose it created all the things that we love. And as the night wears on, I can certainly see what Taris means. An open fire, local wine, wood-fired pizzas, the Adelaide Hills at its finest. 